Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill and you have stumbled upon a TED video. Now, TED in my case stands for too easily distracted and in any of these videos you can see me just, just throw all of my recent thoughts at you. So I started playing Skyrim again for the first time in quite a while yesterday. And I have this thing that I do and I don't know if any of you can relate, but I always have to start a new character in an RPG after not playing it for a long time. After realizing this, I thought that it might be interesting to tell you about uh, some of my characters that I've created. The first character I stuck to for a long period, and absolutely the one I clocked the most hours on, was my Khajiit Thief. For this character, I came up with the headcanon that uh, she was actually a pirate who was uh, smuggling some illicit goods uh, in and out of the country. The coolest adventure I had in the game with this particular character was I went in to steal Maven Blackbriar's horse. And there were all these baddies circling around the house and I got outside, got on the horse, and just started to ride as fast as I could. Now Khajiits can see in the dark, but it has a timer on it, and when you're on a horse you can't reactivate your night vision, so it ran out just as I got on the horse, just as these bad guys were following me. And it all sort of came together in this really weird experience where there was a thunderstorm and it was pitch black except for the occasional flash of lightning, and then I could hear things and I knew that there was a bear chasing after me at one point. I had to escape the bear and then wolves came out of nowhere and I ended up on the top of a mountain, and then a dragon flew past and just flamed the wolves out out of my way with enough time for me to sort of dash past them and back past the bear again and then the occasional Nern root showed me where a bridge was so that I could get across these bridges and then I thought that I was safely far enough away, got off the horse and, uh, and, and realized that I was sitting right in between two wizards having a wizard jewel. That was a rough night. The next character I made was a Breton girl who was um, a mage. And my favorite adventure that happened with that character was that my brother said, ooh, I know where you can get the spell for necromancy. And it gives you this like little skeleton warrior dude who, who helps you out. And I learnt the spell and I tried it out and my brother and I were both surprised to find that uh, instead of the small skeleton, I got a really big, big skeleton who was really very good at magic. The third character I made, and the only character with a name that I'm actually happy with, is Smith, the Argonian, who, as the name would suggest, was a blacksmith, and he didn't speak any English, so he had no idea what was going on or how he got caught up in anything, and he never knew how to respond to anyone's questions, and I had him wear a blacksmith's apron and just fight with a hammer. Not a war hammer, a hammer. Favorite adventure. Just as Smith was heading up to the block of land where you build your house, a mud crab came out of nowhere and just followed him up the hill and so I killed it and it became like a little garden gnome out the front of the house which was nice. Less happy favorite adventure was when I came out of the house one night to find that there were a bunch of giants just just hanging around, just sitting around my house. I never did get rid of them. And finally, the character that I began last night. An orc and sort of a mercenary type. I like to think of her as just someone who doesn't take anything particularly seriously and who likes to drink and who likes to laugh and who likes to sleep a lot after drinking and laughing. But we'll break the celebrations up with grand adventures. One of which... It's amazing how many I've had given I only started her last night. And I had Uthgird the Unbroken with me as my companion. I turned around and Uthgird was nowhere to be seen, so I, I sort of ran down the path a little bit and saw that she'd been fighting a mud crab, as is so often the case. So she killed the mud crab and I went, ooh, ooh, there's a nest with a rock warbler egg in it. And I went and I picked up the egg. I don't remember whether there was a crash noise or not, but when I turned around, I got a face full of dragon fire because a dragon had landed behind me so quietly and secretly. It was astounding. And so then there was a bit of face slashing from me in the general panic. And eventually I killed the dragon and was just completely stressed out because Uthgird had been nowhere the entire fight. And I was so worried that she was dead and it was all going to be awful and bad. And then she just popped up behind me and said, let's go. Where were you, Uthgird? 
Where were you? She has since been replaced as companion. Actually, all this RPG talk reminds me, you may have seen uh, on Twitter a particular Kickstarter campaign. My friend Kristen Brumley, who some of you may remember from the Geek and Sundry Vlogger Search, is working on this really cool web series called Basic Adventuring 101. And the story is sort of about the first experience of LARPing of this one particular character. If you haven't seen the pilot for it, it's right here, and I really recommend you go and watch it because I loved it and thought it was the funniest thing on the planet. But it honestly looks like such a fun series, and if you want to, you can go and support that Kickstarter campaign, the link will be in the description below. Let me know what character classes you like to play in various RPG style games in the comment section below. I would be very happy if you remembered to press all of the buttons and subscribe to my channel. But for now, that is it. I am done and I will see you guys some other time.